Hey there, um, how's it going? Um, so this is a video about um, adding um, columns to a no uh, column data like um, for example if you have a file like this so this is a dot txt file so um, you may want to process a file that looks like this so if you are receiving a file from the source that has um, only the data without a column um, I mean column name of each of the uh, data for example this is supposed to be either full name or name and this is supposed to be gender and this is supposed to be age but as you can see from this file it doesn't come with column name so um, what I'm going to show you in this video is basically how to add uh, column names to uh, this particular data set. So um, I have two ways of doing this, but this video is going to focus on the first method. Um, I will make a video about the second method. So this is going to be part one. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so uh, this is the data I'm going to read, obviously. And so um, I've defined, um, I've actually created a, a, a trait where I basically create, uh, created my Spark session. So what I'm doing in this uh, particular package um, here so what I'm doing is basically mixing the uh, traits where Spark session is created with this uh, random example class so and here I'm just trying to not log lots of information on the console and so the next thing I'm going to do is basically define uh, read the data from the file so uh, let me define a data frame let me call it person df equal to uh, spark session dot read i'm going to use the format as csv but i have to give it a delimiter because it's a text uh, file csv dot option delimiter delimiter um, it's going to be um, tab um, so delimiter is tab and the uh, dot load and I've copied the part to that file I'll just paste it so this is in my um, users directory so the n name of the file is person data and the format is txt and um, I think so for the delimiter right I need to use a backslash and T okay so um, if I now write a person person df dot show so and run the application I mean this part job So, just gonna wait a bit. So, uh, as you can see right here, we so automatically Spark uh, basically use the um, I mean add some column uh, based on index um, to that uh, data set. So. It named the first uh, column of data as C, which represents column O, which is in the index, so CO, then the second one C1, and the third one, third one is C2. So, but that is not what you want. You want to name your um, column based on like maybe your business logic. Okay, so what you have to do in this case is um 
define a basically define a column that you want to uh, name okay um so let's say for example uh, person schema equal to i'm going to use sequence and i will use uh, the first one as full name and the second let me use uh, uh, common case the second one will be gender gender and the third one is going to be the age so here the method you're going to use is a uh, to df but in order to get to df you have to import implicit uh, from spark so using the spark session you already have you can say spark import spark session dot implicit dot to df okay uh, no so dot underscore so using that you can uh you can now say um person df so this is your data frame right dot to df then what you want to do is basically add this um ne column names to that data frame so that would be person schema um, so if you do it like it just put the sequence there it's not going to work but so you have to kind of add the sequence like a kind of a, you know so if you just like um, so what I basically want to do is basically um, inside that to df what I want to do is put everything there inside here as column names but that would be a bit messy, right? So that is why I have to do this. Um, so, person schema. So, um, underscore asterisk. So that will basically put those names one by one in the to DF. Then you can now see the show. So let's run it again. okay um this is the outputs so you see this is the previous one where we did not add the column names right and this is the second one with column names now you can see those c index um zero index one index two uh have been replaced by the actual name right so that is how you can write uh, add column names to a no column data set all right that is it for this video guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it um don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be uploading more videos like this and the part two of this is coming as well all right um thank you once again have a lovely day and goodbye